Welcome back to Firearms Fuel and Fabrication. Um, <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty irritated right at the moment. Uh, as the title of the video says, why not to buy anything from Remington? Okay, so. We'll go to the end of the story. I just got my my gun back from Remington today. And so I get all excited. You know what? We'll, we'll go to the beginning of the story because the end of it's not going to make any sense without telling you the whole story. Okay. This is a Remington 700 AAC SD. It's chambered in 300 blackout. Uh, when I originally got this gun, I was very excited for this gun. Shoot it suppressed, bolt action, super quiet, super accurate. You know, nice gun. I was searching around for different ammos. And... <coughs> uh... Lehigh Defense actually had a disclaimer on their website not to use the heavy 220 grain subsonics in this rifle. So I called them up and asked them, hey, why not? And they told me, you know, there was a problem where Remington had mismarked a whole bunch of barrels on the 300 Blackout. They were stamped 1 in 7 twist. That's what the gun was advertised as, 1 in 7 twist, but they come as 1 in 10 twists, even though they were marked 1 in 7 twist. So, I checked my barrel, and sure enough, it was a 1 in 10 twist. And shooting subsonic, 1 in 10 twist, you know, it. it some people say it's alright, others don't. Obviously, uh, Lehigh had run into problems, and anything that could cause a bullet to tumble and destroy my suppressor, I'm not willing to take that chance. So, I contact Remington, and keep in mind this is the second time this gun will have gone back to Remington because I suffered the, the wonderful trigger recall that they had. <laughs> Which that was a uh, a six month escapade getting my trigger taken care of. But uh, so I contact Remington and inform him, hey, you know my my rifle has it's stamped one in seven. Actually has a one in ten twist. They say okay, no problem. Send me a box. Send the gun back. So I send the gun back. Fast forward two months. I get my gun back and I noticed one I got a whole different serial number which there was a piece of paper in my box that said that it had a different serial number so all they did was replace the whole action now I don't know if it's gonna come up on the screen how clear it is let me see if I can tighten the shot up here and, and focus it in Okay, you'll see the barrel just says 300 blackout. And the last one said 300 blackout, 1 in 7 twist. So, not thinking much of it, you know. Okay, this one just says 300 blackout, no big deal. Well, I come up, I was getting everything ready to put in my mag pull stock here. Got the detachable mags. The mag pull stocks do work with AICS 223 mags quite well. I've already ran it with it. So, getting ready to put in here, I'm like, you know what? What the hell? 
I'm just going to check it. So I take it apart, pulled it, pulled the, the bolt out, took a cleaning rod, put a rag on the end, cleaning cloth, put it on the end, put a little mark on my cleaning rod, and run it down through. Now, one in seven twist, 16 inch barrel. Now obviously, part of that barrel is your chamber. So, minus two inches for the chamber. I should get almost two full turns. So run it down through, get one turn, get just barely half another turn. Thinking it's a mistake. So I did that about ten more times just because I couldn't believe it. Well, take 20 inches, which would be, you know, a 1 in 10 twist at 20 inches would be two full turns. So take, we'll call, 5, almost 6 inches off, so you're taking off a half a turn. One turn and almost a half, 1 in 10 twist. So, I sent my gun back because it was stamped one in seven to go without with my gun for two months to get a gun back that wasn't stamped one in seven if I wanted one in ten I would have kept my old gun so what it was stamped one in seven I just I can't believe it I, I'm appalled I'm irritated heavily. So, you know, that that's that's my rant. Here it is, it's been back twice. Once for a trigger, once for a barrel. And I'm gonna have to call them back up tomorrow and try to be as nice as possible. But uh yeah, I'm not pleased. Remington, Freedom Group, whoever you are now. You guys are screwing up bad. You better get your act together. Ran over. Thanks for watching Firearms Fuel and Fabrication.